I need you to open your eyes, right? Um, if we're going to do this thing and we're going to do this, uh, get this reparations, we need to find our people. Now, I'm going to be posting some some pictures of some people that it is going to say the untold story of the black uh, Mexicans that are forgotten. Forgotten means lost. Or some of it might say lost tribes of Africa. Just change that to lost tribes of Israel. Whatever. Okay. Um, we're going to go to Asia. We're going to have got pictures of uh, uh, Mexicans, of all of them. Right. You got to understand that when uh, black people are in these countries, they never show the black people. They always show the white people. So like, say for exist, for example, uh, America, America was taken over by English and the French, but they also brought over the Spaniards. They all came together after um, Columbus came to the Americas to take over America. You know, whether it was South America, North America, Central America, and they all work together. So even if you hear stories, you know, and I need you to open your mind about this, too, as well, because somebody had posted that, look, there was Mexicans that uh, white uh, uh, North Americans uh, um, went and raided their villages and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. White people do that to themselves, too. The Jewish people in the Holocaust, for example, right? They, you know, um, they, they did exactly what that what happened to us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Black Wall Street. So, of course, it's just that white people get reparations or they get acknowledgement for that. Right. So I need you to understand this. I need you to open your eyes. Heck, white people walk into we, we've heard about white people walking into grocery stores and sh and uh, uh, schools and stuff and shooting up uh, uh, schools and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we heard about white people polluting the, you know, destroying the ozone layer. So you got to open up your mind, people. OK, it's, it's not just happening to black people. It's just that black people, you know, it happened to us for the longest. And um when people try to say that, you know, the white um, Mexicans, you know, the Spaniards, they say, well, when they came over to America, they stuck together. You know, black people didn't, were under that curse. They couldn't stick together. Do you under, do you hear me? Do you understand me? Do you hear me? So you got to find the black Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? There are black Mexicans in Mexico, believe it or not. There are black Asians. There are pictures of black Chinese men before. I don't know what happened to them. There ain't, there ain't no black uh, uh, Chinese men there now, but they're still around Asia somewhere. Do you hear me? So I'm going to be posting these pictures and stuff. And you need to understand they were worldwide. Do you hear me? Open your mind, people. Right. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this is because we're trying to get our people liberated. Like you got to understand over there in Hades currently right now, they're being attacked all right, from what I understand or they're attacking or something something is going on where somebody's getting attacked and Asia, ha uh, Hades um, if you hear this message just calm down we're trying to get you we're trying to get all our people we need land a, a vast amount of land possibly you know in Africa we can create our own new Jerusalem if God says we can't go back to Israel you know what I'm saying we can create our new a new Jerusalem right here on earth we need land we're fighting for land, money, and resources. Uh, safe passage way back home, you know, if if uh, black people so deemed, because some black people want to stay here for whatever reason, and trust me, you're going to want to go home after a while, but um, we need to, you know, fight for the, the, you know, for reparations, for all the injustices that has happened unto black people. And it's not just black Americans. We don't just focus on black Americans because that's what that's that's the problem. Black, you know, we people just focus on themselves and their family when other races focus on their whole race. Do you know? And that's the reason why they stick together. And that's why they're so strong and they're so unified. So we are going to uh, do what they do and stick together. And we're going to find our people, our, all these lost tribes. They're, they're lost. They even say it on here. It says uh, uh, not found. When I looked up uh, the Thors, and I'm going to put that on there too, the, the Thors, it means lost. And they'll say the lost uh, tribes of Africa in Mexico or, you know what I'm saying? No, it's the lost tribes of Israel. Israel. But we, we, gonna, we ain't going to get into all of that because not everybody believes in God. 
And so you got to understand, even with our own people, when we're trying to teach them stuff, if they're not listening, it's like giving your pearls to swine. You're going to end up, uh, a swine is just going to eat it and swallow it. You're going to end up going through their feces later on and picking it out, cleaning it off. So, you, you know, so we're, we're not going to go into like, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to do what God is telling me to do. God is telling me to call us black people for right now. He's saying to, to call us black people. There's nothing wrong with being called black people because the darker you were like um, back in the day, we, we used to be so dark. We Some of us was purple. The royalty used to be purple and they would mix with each other just to remain purple because purple is a royal color. Their skin tone literally was purple. So there's nothing wrong with with that. But what I'm going to we're going to utilize that until we all can be on the same perspective or on the same page before we call each other Hebrew, you know, before I say that, you know, cause I'm trying to reach out to all black people that are Hebrew that don't even know they're Hebrew. And so, um, you know, you can talk to your blue in the face, but they're not going to be able to understand you if they don't believe in God. It's like, well, God said this, and then you keep preaching to them, but they say they're telling you, they're telling you they don't believe in God. Also know that they were lost in plain sight because white people would do um, commercials and stuff and they would uh, not include black people. We thought that Asians were just ca Caucasian. We thought that um, Indians, because I'm going to show you black Indians, too, were just white, you know, you know, Indians. No, there's black Indians. There's black Mexicans. There's black. I'm going to show you this. So keep an open mind, people, you know, because some people just, you know, they're so factuated with other races that they um this they, they they this this you know this they don't include their own race you see what i'm saying so open your mind and you'll notice that the black um mexicans they look like Cal black californians because half of them are uh black mexicans they don't even know it you know what i'm saying period you know what i'm saying they're what they call um aztecs you know what I'm saying? But they've been mixing with North Americans, so they're half and half, whatever. But they look just like the black uh, Californians. Duly note that the black Samoans, the Hawaiians that they show in these pictures, they call them royalty. When you look at that last picture, you'll see that there are black Mexicans, also known as black Mexicans, that are out there fighting for us, but we don't even see them. We're too busy trying to say that the Spaniards, the European Mexicans is the blacks that <laughs> that are the missing tribe. Also, we cannot disregard the black people that have been locked up, like say for uh, $5 worth of weed, they get locked up for 30 years, or they were in a car with a, a white guy and a white guy did the crime, but the white guy gets two months, but the black guy, the person got 50 years and he didn't even do nothing. He was just, uh, ex, you know, uh, afraid, you know, of the situation. So he didn't speak up and they didn't want to hear him out because he didn't have rights like the white person. Let my people go.